study. Now, why is that important? CUNY has a history of teaching us that racist curriculum bullshit that we started from the dinosaurs and then we jumped to Christopher fucking Columbus. They don't want to teach you anything from in between that shit. So we got to go and take that back. We need to learn about the African empire that existed before slavery. We need to learn about something other than the European Magellan or whoever the hell those discoverers were that came to discover the continent that we come from as oppressed nationality people living within the United States. Now within that demand, we want to maintain and expand women and gender studies. Why is that important? We live in a society where women are not viewed as people so much. We are dehumanized every day. Women in the streets are being raped, killed, murdered for what? For being women. They teach us to be feminine. Don't stand up for your rights and keep your legs closed, keep your mouth shut. So what we want is to make sure that all women feel empowered. And to make women feel empowered, we need to teach them our history. We want to learn about gender studies. When I say gender studies, I mean learning about the struggle of queer, transgender, LGBTQ, all of that. We need to learn about that, and we need to teach our children and future generations that there is nothing wrong with it. There is nothing wrong with feeling different, what society calls different. We need to learn about the struggles of oppressed people, oppressed nationality people, and oppressed genders, and we need to fight that. And the only way we can fight the oppression is by learning. So we want CUNY to make that curriculum and expand it and give us more funding and teach us what we rightly deserve to be taught and to stop teaching us that Christopher Columbus is the only person that matters in history, that white beauty is the only type of beauty, and that male and female is the only thing that you can be in the society. That's our fourth demand. <laughs>